Bryce Ruther has been a game changer in both community and high school football over the years as he continues to be committed to being the best athlete he can be as he heads into his senior year with the provincial champion, Mount Doug Rams. The VI South Football Academy has become a second home for Bryce in 2021, an environment he has embraced with open arms. Tell me about uh, you know the, the academy and just you know what the opportunities that brings for you. It's been really great, honestly. It's been really, really good to stay fit and stay healthy, really, and just see all my friends and stuff. It must be pretty cool being around a lot of these, uh, you know, this, some play, kids you played against before over the years, and then you know high schools that are rivals and community, and now here you are, you're all together. And it's a pretty impressive team. And just tell me about all those people that you get to be with. Well, I know there's a lot of a lot of people that I've definitely played against and had really good competition against, but it's really good to get together. I don't really have grudges or hold grudges or anything. We're just here to play football. It's, it's fun. Uh, tell me about how you first got into football. Um, well, I first got into football when I was really young and I was in the living room. My dad brought up like this blow-up punching bag and I would just tackle it when I was like, really young, could like barely walk, and I just fell in love. And he, he used to play football, so he was, he was always teaching me about that stuff and just so much influence. What's your favorite part about playing football? Spending time with all my friends and just being social. Like most of my best friends have been from football, or at least the ones that have stayed, because you know you go to school, you meet a few people, maybe you go to a different school, you maybe you don't talk with them anymore. But with football, you're always seeing them. In the end, it really will. A lot of those friendships will last you to high school. A lot of them will last you even in university. And if you go to the same university, you know that's a really strong bond you can bring. And then even after university and throughout, you can, you can always just. You know, reminisce. Tell me about how your coaches have impacted you throughout your football journey. Um, they really like shape me as a person and turn me into the football player I am today. I'm really grateful for that and all the extra work these coaches have put into me and just so much time and effort. And what kind of coaching gets the best out of you? Strong balance, I think, in between because you got to have the fun side and then you got to have the really serious side, you know. When it comes to before drills, you know, you got to have pretty serious, you got to be paying attention, maybe throw a bit of jokes in there, but I think it's really good when it's really factual, but also the drills we're doing is are fun and you can do them on your own and with friends is really great. What kind of player would you say you are? Like, I, I help people on the field a lot. I would say that I help, uh, kind of a leader, maybe. Uh, I try to help as, as many people as I can, and I always try to give people guidance and just show them. Pass on your football yeah. knowledge. Yeah. yeah. It's been with Bryce for the last few months, but uh, he's a guy that excels on both sides of the ball. Right, I mean, he's out there, a receiver, making really nice catches, like high pointing the ball, making one-handed catches. He's also a guy that can go play safety, and uh, like, I mean, physical, physical kid, understands the game. So it's been a pleasure working with him. I mean, I think with a lot of the guys that are able to play both ways, especially a guy that can go play safety, a safety at the next level is the captain of the defense. He's calling plays. He's making all the shifts, all the scheme audibles and whatnot. So any kid you have there playing safety has got to be a smart kid. So I think that's why Bryce plays that position as well. Tell me about the sport from your family. Like that's, you know, they've been pretty involved in your uh, career, but this is a question for everybody. But tell me about that support. It's been pretty impressive. Yeah, it's been well, through my whole community football seasons. My mom was my trainer, my dad was a head coach, and my brother was playing four years younger than me. And I could always coach him. My parents could always coach him. My parents could always coach me. And it's been my whole life they've been teaching me about football. It's been really great. And what have you been doing throughout the pandemic, you know, to keep yourself being ready? Um, training on the field, pass catching, all that stuff. You don't really need to be close to anyone for that stuff. So just pass catching with either some friends or some additional coaches and going to scheduled practices we have for our high school that just started not too long ago and going to the gym. I and mean, I haven't been going to the gym recently though because it's been a lot of cases at where I go, but Hopefully that gets sorted out. We might have to switch gyms, but that'll be that'll be fine. And just staying active with my friends and family. Uh, you started working out at a young age. I've got a clip of you. <laughs> you doing some squats, <laughs> and it really shows that you know you, you did it in a safe way. And yeah. it shows that uh, you've built yourself into a, into a force on the football field. Just tell me about that weight training. Well, I was brought up really well because my dad was big into weightlifting his whole life really. I was, um, when my mom and dad used to go to the gym together all the time, I would, they brought me in a crib and they set up one outside of the squash courts when they would play squash. And I was so, I couldn't even walk and I was just in the gym in my crib playing with toys. And it's just being around all those people is really great and you just learn so much from those type of people. Uh, how do you find a balance between school and football? Um, sometimes it's pretty hard. 
but you really just have to put your head down and grind when you know maybe hey I'm behind an assignment or two I have to really get this done I might have to even skip a practice or a workout but it, it'll be worth it in long um, in the long run because those grades they really mean a lot and I'm trying to I'm trying to balance my stuff out right now too and I've been working with um, coach Dino Jeremiah with uh, re that recruiting stuff in the recruiting Academy he's been really great I've been trying to get my name out there as much as I can across a bunch of platforms linking my huddle and all my stuff my personal profile trying to get my name out there sending emails to coaches filling out um, forms but We'll have to see if any universities do come in contact with me. Yeah, I hope they do. Uh, if you're not watching uh, football on TV, what other sport are you watching? Um, really, I, I like basketball. I don't really keep up with basketball, but I like watching like the highlights and all that. If you could be any superhero, who would you be and why? Uh, One Punch Man, because he's just overpowered, I'd say. I don't even know what Punch Man is. <laughs> it, it's like it's an anime. I don't know. That oh, is it? People know about it. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'd say he's a superhero. Though. Someone gives you a kangaroo. You can't sell it. You can't give it away. What do you do with kangaroo? Kangaroo. Get him to teach me on how to jump. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> kangaroo jump coach. Yeah, hot, right? Uh huh. That would be good. Okay, what two items would you take with you to a shipwreck? If you're shipwrecked on a deserted island, with all food and water needs were taken care of. Food and water is taken care of. Yeah, taken care of. Man, uh, let's say a camera to take vlogs and stuff and just track my journey and my phone I guess so I can call somebody to come pick me up you know well, would you rather fight 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck I think the duck size wait duck sized horses so like a bunch of horses like this big yeah okay, I do the duck sized horses I think duck sized horses yeah. maybe a bit tired at the end but I'm gonna have a better chance at one just kicking them left and right uh -huh, yeah nice. uh, if you had a time machine would you travel to the future or back to the past um I think it would be pretty cool to go to the future and just see where things go. Maybe a bit sad if uh, everything <laughs> gets a bit out of control, but I think that'd be pretty cool to see what things come in the future. What do you think uh, is the best way to grow a sport, uh, football? Really, um, like advertising is a big thing um, across all like social platforms. Um, people who are playing the sport get them to reach out to their friends and get those friends to reach out to other people. Um, just having word through parents and kids and I think that's a really good one. And if you have unlimited funding, how would you give back to the football community? Um, by building probably a bunch of turf fields and more equipment. Like some some uh, programs have pretty old like helmets and all that stuff. I would pro I would like to stock up those things. Like the, some of the universities have like sponsors with Nike and all that and they get all like the best stuff and um, I think it would be really cool for a high school in even anywhere just to have the opportunity to have really great gear and protection. I love the vision Bryce and youth in general have to give back and grow the sport of football at the community level, considering the impact it's had on them in their football journey. As Bryce Ruther heads into his final season at Mount Doug, I have no doubt his eyes on the prize in that form of back-to-back -back provincial championships for the Mount Doug Rams. Bryce's character on and off the field speaks for itself, and his talent between the lines continues to impress, which bodes well for post-secondary opportunities. My name is Cam Smith with U Sports Production and ISN. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, we'll see you on the field.